Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial about how to connect your Hori brand Tyco drum uh, made for Switch, how to use it on your computer. So, let's say, for example, if you have Xbox Game Pass PC and you'd like to play the Tyco game on there with the drum controller, uh, this is how you do it. There's a couple different ways to do it, but this is the method I found to be the, the easiest and quickest to do. Um, essentially, we're going to use a Xbox 360 controller emulator and uh, basically trick the computer into thinking that our plugged-in drum is an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so first off, you can go on this website here, x360ce.com. Uh, scroll down and you'll want to download the uh, emulator. Um, keep in mind, uh, it does give you all the instructions here, which is awesome. Uh, you're going to have to install this virtual gamepad emulation driver as well, but uh, the, the program will actually show you uh, when you need to do that. So I've already downloaded it here. I'm just going to open it up and show you. Um, so you would have it selected to whatever controller port you want. Um, that thing about the uh, emulation driver, uh, it'll show up here under issues. So if you have not downloaded it, it'll pop up and, and flag you and say, hey, you need to download this first. Uh, so just showing you how to map it out here. Um, so you select the controller that you want. Let's click add. Uh, assuming we've already plugged in our Tyco Drum USB. So we're going to add that selected device. There we go. Now it's in. Um, and there's a few different ways you can map out the buttons. Um, but basically, we want to use the same buttons that the controller uses uh, for the left and right Dawn and left and right Ka. Uh, so what I found uh, to works pretty well is uh, using the uh, triggers and the D-pad and the A button to make that happen. Uh, you can either uh, you know, just select what button you'd like it to be. Uh, or you can actually uh, tap the physical drum itself to uh, map it out. So basically I'll show a diagram here, but the uh, left dawn is going to be button 11, the right dawn will be button 12, the left ka will be button 7, and the right ka will be button 8. So I'm just going to show you here uh, by tapping the drum. So left trigger, here we go. It's recording, and that's going to be, there we go, we hit it, okay, uh, right trigger, record, let's hit it, there we go, I accidentally hit the mic, cool, uh, so the D-pad down, there we go, it's going to be button 11, and our A button, record, is going to be this one. Here we go. Okay, so you got it all mapped out. That's great. Um, you can save it if you want. As far as I can tell, it, it seems to just auto save. Um, or every time I've closed the uh, app and opened it back up, it, it's still there. Um, just a little caveat here. It says you can minimize the uh, application during gameplay to reduce load on the CPU and GPU. Um, that's probably true, uh, but every time I've minimized it, it it just no longer works with the game. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe just for specific games, it doesn't work. But anyhow, that's it. Um, now you can hop onto your game, and uh, it will work as intended. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any specific questions, concerns, leave a comment below and subscribe for more. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye. Thank